Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Now Testify Gaming Edition. One of my original videos that I posted that um, did pretty well was about gaming in my Tesla. In fact, it was also on how to connect your Xbox controller. And I'm back today to show you an improved version of that with Joa's wireless controller. We're going to unbox it. We're going to connect it. We're going to play some games, and we're going to check out the wireless charging that's right just stick it on your cell phone pad right below your screen to charge these suckers up they feel great i'm looking forward to sharing with you let's go all right so if you get the multi-pack you will get two controllers and they come in different colors you got black and the brand new white which i love and then they had like a, a brown or a wood grain one so <clears throat> different colors but let's take a look at what you get in the box all right so nice handy guide. There's a couple of tricks on here that uh, I wasn't uh, aware of until I did a little bit of extra reading, but we have not only a uh, your normal buttons, including triggers, but it is also um, motion sensitive and it does have vibration. It has the ability to charge via USB-C as course, as well as wirelessly on the pad there as well. It has a turbo mode, which will all auto um, press the button for you as well. And there's different levels of that too, which can be handy on a couple of your games. So this is a really full featured controller and you can pair it to multiple devices. Not only can you use it with your own Tesla, but you can also pair it with a Nintendo Switch, your Android device or an Apple device as well. So let's see what we get in the box. Again, you've got some instructions on how to get it paired. You've got the controller itself and you get your cables along with some wireless dongles. So if for some reason you need to use a dongle, the Bluetooth connection doesn't work, you can set that up as well. In fact, this multiplayer kit actually comes with this multi-port USB hub, which can go in your glove box. You can use the uh, USB-A port here to connect your uh, dash cam and then you can set up the other wireless dongles in here so this is a really handy tool that comes in as well all right in order to pair this guy really straightforward what we're first going to do is we need to turn it on and then to the appropriate item so we've got our different modes with the sliders uh specifically for and so we're going to go ahead and move this all the way over to this last one and that puts us in pairing mode for uh, the USB dongle that comes with it and our Tesla as well. We're then going to press the home button in order to turn it on. And then we're gonna press the sync button. Uh, and then on our Tesla, we're gonna come over here to our Bluetooth and then look, we see pro controller, check it out. Adding. And it vibrates to let you know it's like that easy. So again, the instructions are flip it all the way over to the left, hit the home button to turn it on, press and hold the sync button until um, you get the light, and then finally Bluetooth and your device will appear there. Awesome, super easy. All right, now let's take a look, close look at this controller. So like I said, it has motion sensitive, so we can actually, has a six axis motion so in certain games that allow for it including other devices again like your nintendo switch or something you'll be able to take advantage of those the joysticks are actually really nice they click so again those are buttons as well and well, the d-pad is a little mushy i really like uh the individual buttons you find on like a playstation controller but um this should be fine we've got our trigger buttons of course both sets and then i actually really like this treatment they gave with the buttons the main buttons uh, the YXBA, where the uh, letters are really recessed down in there and it kind of gives a cool look to it. So again, I love this white color as well. We also have our turbo button, which maybe we'll check out in a couple of our games. And then the capture button, power, switching devices, uh, turbo, and then you can use plus or minus with the turbo. Pretty straightforward. And then let's check it out what it looks like on the charger. Actually, you can put both of them on here. All right, so we have Beach Buggy Racing 2. This is probably by far one of the best games. A lot of fun if you like Mario Kart. We're gonna get into some of that. Battle of Polytopia. Looks like it's a real-time strategy game. It's something that actually Elon likes quite a bit. I haven't spent too much time with it, but um, the little bit that I have played was, was pretty fun. Mahjong, Sudoku. I think both of those are really great for maybe quick supercharger. Skyforce is a um, scrolling um, shooter, uh, top-down. 
and I've played that a few times. It's pretty intense. Uh, it does support the controller and one to two players use a touchscreen. Solitaire, of course. Cat Quest can use the controller for this one as well. Um, a little bit of like an RPG game. It's actually pretty fun. Fallout Shelter, we don't need a controller for this one. Um, and it's also a, a good game. Stardew Valley, another uh, classic uh, kind of RPG game. I haven't played much of this myself, um, but does support the controller. Backgammon, Cuphead, played a little bit of this. Again, one to two players with a controller. We have Chess, 2048, Asteroids. You can use the steering wheel, touchscreen, or the controller. Centipede, so some classic games here. Super Breakout, Lunar Lander, Missile Command, Millipede, as if Centipede wasn't enough for you, Tempest, and Gravatar. So there are the games that you can play and you'll be able to find out whether or not it supports a controller, uh, the steering wheel, or the touchscreen, how many players. So pretty cool. All right, let's play some beach buggy racing. Um, we're not at a uh, supercharger, so we can't uh, go to the leaderboard, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into one player. We've got lots of different types of drivers with different powers, very much similar to Mario Kart. We'll just go ahead and start with this one. And then as you race, you unlock new maps and of course new cars, including the Cybertruck, Model S Plaid, and my personal favorite, Dark Helmet. Why would you pick any other car besides Dark Helmet? And if you guys don't know, I've actually been inside of Dark Helmet and I'm one of the few folks that has gotten to go on the racetrack with Craig Coker at 100 mile an hour corners, uh, just tearing it up on Button Willow. It was absolutely bonkers and I can't believe like this Dark Helmet is in this game. So I didn't get to drive it, but I get to drive it in Beach Buggy Racing, but I have sat passenger seat and it is freaking fantastic. All right, so we're gonna start with this first map and we're gonna move over into the performance and just to check that out. So if you're a console gamer like me, you're gonna love this controller. It's such a natural fit for the Tesla and has certainly been designed to pair nicely with the Tesla. You've got the wireless charging that fits right on the foam pad. You've got the compact space of it that allows you to simply put it inside your center console, all without having to sacrifice functionality you'd expect from a full-size controller. So you get a lot of great benefits just from a dedicated controller. On top of that, if you happen to bring your Switch or uh, another console, it will work with that too. So you'll always have a extra controller on hand, if you will. So that's another really nice perk that comes with it. The other thing I really like is just how quickly it is to uh, connect to the Bluetooth to begin with. And then on top of that, being able to just simply turn it on, press the power button, and you're gaming in no time. So there you have it. We've got Joa's wireless gaming controller. Not only does it charge on the charging pad, but is easy to connect, connects to multiple devices, and really just makes gaming in the Tesla a lot of fun. So if you do enjoy uh, any of the games in your Tesla, Star Force, Beach Buggy Racing, Cuphead, etc., any of those ones that support a controller, this is gonna be a natural, easy upgrade. Looks great, feels great, and again, made by an awesome company. Use my discount code, now testify to get an additional 5% off your entire order, whether you pick up one of these controllers, two of them, or any of other Joa's awesome products. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video. Now testify.